Dzień dobry, witam Państwa na konferencji. Good morning, welcome to the press conference of the Minister of Justice and General Prosecutor Zbigniew Ziobro with Secretary of State at the Ministry of Justice, Minister Sebastian Kaleta. The subject of today's meeting is the Act on the Protection of Speech in Internet Networking Sites. Minister, over to you. Good afternoon. Uh, the freedom of speech and freedom of debate is the essence of democracy. There is no democracy if the state does not guarantee freedom in these two areas, which have their expressions in so many areas of social and public life. And censorship contradicts, contradicts this freedom. And there is a lot of debates of politics and uh, life views that are ongoing in the internet. Some say that this is the dominating space for these disputes and debates in modern societies of the contemporary world, which is why we believed that Polish citizens, while carrying out such discussions and debates on the internet and in global social media sites which are available in our country, should have a guarantee of their basic rights that ensure the respect for their civil rights and freedoms that the Polish Constitution guarantees to them. But in order to make it real, it was necessary for us to create some legal frameworks that will effectively enforce onto the global players the respect of Polish law and the rights and liberties with the emphasis on the word liberties of the Polish citizens, users of the internet. There aren't existing effective tools that would enable that. Today, social media decide themselves which contents will be deleted and which accounts will be blocked. And even if a citizen can demonstrate within court proceedings that no laws have been broken, that still gives them no guarantee that the social media will take such resolutions on board. Therefore, in our view, in the view of the ministry and in my view as a minister of justice, it was necessary to launch proceedings to develop a law that will provide tools that guarantee the basic freedoms and liberties to Polish citizens in the area of internet, which is playing an increasingly important role in the everyday life of Polish people. That is why we are introducing regulations to what is still a draft law and will be a law in the future. And in our view, these solutions, in my view, will allow to effectively prevent the threats of not regulating this uh, subject area and therefore leaving the room for arbitrary decisions of uh, internet social network sites owners that can interfere very far into the freedom and liberties of Polish citizens. This topic has become quite a lively debate that is being carried out globally, and I think this confirm, uh, confirms the fact that uh, work is necessary in this area in our country. I uh, asked uh, Minister Kaleta to prepare the draft law. Uh, he has done a lot of work together with his experts, also people from outside the ministry, people that are not necessarily in agreement with us in terms of political views, people that we often have uh, dis disputes with, but people with whom we share the concern about the freedoms of Polish citizens and the liberties that are guaranteed by Polish constitutions. We want to ensure that they are also fully safeguarded in the area of social media where Polish people are present. So I would like to express my gratitude to the Deputy Minister for this work, and I would like to ask him to present the essence of the draft law and to demonstrate to you the uh, solutions and mechanisms that it contains. In our view, if the draft law comes into force, it will significantly raise the protection level of Polish Internet users. Thank you, Minister. Let me show you again right now. This is a draft law. This is the effect of the work uh, carried out by Minister Kaleta and his team. Ladies and gentlemen, we, ha we met 
just under a month ago to show you the concept that the ministry had, which uh, is transposing this to the specific draft law aiming at protecting the freedom of speech in the internet. We all know that the events of the recent days and weeks have demonstrated how much such regulations are needed. The state should guarantee to its citizens the possibility of uh, performing and enjoying one of the most important constitutional rights, the freedom of speech. Also, as a result of the discussion that ensued after the previous conference, we have uh, performed additional consultations and today we are able to present to you the draft that will uh, very soon be proceeded over by the uh, government and further consulted. So what does the law uh, uh, include? We are planning to uh, appoint a freedom of speech board uh, composed of five members appointed by the same with a majority of three-fifths for a six-year term. This board will be safeguarding the adherence by all the social networking sites to the constitutional rights of freedom of speech. The uh, Freedom of Speech Board will then be reviewing uh, the appeals of users against deleted content or um, limited access to their content action. So if a social networking site uh, blocks access to the content, the user will have the right to appeal to the uh, social networking site. The site will then either reinstate the uh, content in question or will not accept the user's uh, complaint. The user will then uh, be able to appeal to the board and the board will have seven days to review such a complaint of the user based on the material that has been gathered in the course of this uh, exchange uh, between the user and the site. Within seven days, the board will decide whether the uh, site's, the website's reaction was lawful uh, or whether perhaps uh, the content was never violating Polish law and then the, the website uh, would be obliged to reinstate such content. The user as we can see here, can uh, complain, and these are the options that the users will have. These principles will have to be precisely specified in the uh, regulations offered by the websites to the users. This will have to be explicitly stated. Such regulations on complaints against content are already in place in some of the European states, especially Germany and France. And this is where the draft uh, commissions, European Commission's regulation is going, uh, which aims to generally regulate the operations of social networking sites in Europe. Uh, but this issue relates with the Polish law because it uh, has the constitutional liberties at heart. The law puts a number of duties on social networking sites. The most important one that is to ensure the enforcement of these uh, rules is the necessity to appoint a special representative uh, for the purpose of representing the site against, uh, uh, before courts and um, authorities in the country. This means that these procedures can be in progress and uh, resolutions can be made both from the point of view of the uh, freedom of speech board's views and the courts which will be hearing uh, such uh, actions. At present, their uh, activity is much hindered. If the social networking sites uh, fails to uh, adhere to these uh, rules, the uh, Freedom of Speech Board may impose a penalty ranging from 50,000 to 50 million zlotys. This regulation is uh, adopted from the German law where the Minister of Justice uh, imposes such penalties. And the main uh, difference is that the uh, Freedom of Speech Board will have the exclusive right to reinstate users' content. So 
there will be no right of censorship. The Minister of Justice in uh, Germany has a un unilateral right to remove or to delete content, so to censor it. This kind of pictures our intentions. The main benefits of our draft is creating the Freedom of uh, Speech Board, which will allow to swiftly ensure the respect of freedom of speech in Poland. It will be able to impose the reinstatement of uh, content which is uh, which abides by Polish law. If someone, however, uh, wants to do it today, uh, they can uh, file a lawsuit, but it is very difficult to enforce the uh, decisions made. Uh, our law uh, makes these things more precise. The courts will be able to uh, issue an effective uh, decision within seven days. Uh, this regulates the very sensitive area, such as blocking access to content, and this will rely purely and exclusively on court decisions. There is also the purely regulatory area, uh, possibility to impose penalties for failure to adhere to the Polish uh, law. And going back to our December conference, I'd like to say that we are rem uh, we are keeping here uh, the um, notion of a John Doll lawsuit, which was um, uh, raised by. Uh, Mr. Adam Bodnar, the Ombudsman, and also Polish members of Parliament from the Nowoczesna Party. Uh, this concept was uh, positively received, and uh, this notion is uh, included in our draft law. Our work that we started last year uh, led to the fact that today we can adopt a law that will protect Internet users from uh, violation of their right to freedom of speech. Whether someone's content violates the law should not be decided by a foreign corporate entity. Such decisions should be up to Polish the Polish justice system. And the mechanisms that we are proposing guarantee fast procedure that will lead to a decision without changing too much uh, the nature of court proceedings. But the law will be abided by. I need to add, well, the minister gave us examples of Germany and France. But in those countries, uh, the actions are more censorship oriented. Our actions are towards freedom rather than censorship. We want to guarantee high freedom of speech standards online so that there is no censorship. Censorship is against the very notion of free public and social debate. And this public and social debate is ongoing very much online these days. What makes us different from Germany in this respect is that in Germany, uh, the authorities, namely the Minister of Justice, can act as a censor. I myself am Minister of Justice, and people may be surprised why I wouldn't like a German solution here in Poland giving me more power. But actually, we don't want to give more power to the Minister of Justice. I don't want to do that, even though I am the Minister of Justice. I don't want my um, competences to be broader in this respect. Um, therefore, there is an independent, or there will be an independent body a board that is elected by three-fifth majority by the parliament and this body, the Freedom of Speech Board, will be competent to decide on these matters. And this is what's different between Poland and Germany in this area, a big difference in our favor. Another difference um, that I would like to stress is that we in Poland very much focus on freedom, so we do not give the Freedom of Speech Board any tools or instruments in order to perform censorship, unlike what's happening with the Minister of Justice in Germany. The only things that, the only instruments that we give to this board is to prevent censorship by some social networks who sometimes act outside of the Polish law and interfere with 
the process of freedom of speech by blocking accounts, deleting content, blocking certain users that they disagree with. I'm not saying that we want to take away this possibility from social networks altogether. As you see, there is a certain path, as the minister presented, uh, where case goes to court. So therefore, representatives of social media in Poland, if they're not happy with the board's decision, they can go to court and appeal against the Freedom of Speech board decision if they feel that the content that they blocked was against the Polish law. So then it's up to the court or a court to decide whether the decision of the Freedom of Speech board was justified or whether social network or the global um, international social network uh, shows that they were very much right to remove set certain content. Because we all know that online there is a lot of, uh, that you, you may see content that is absolutely against the standards of freedom of speech, very hurtful content. So in this case, social media can take action and can block such content, but we want it to be part of a process involving the Freedom of Speech Board and, if need be, a court. It's uh, a regulation that's very much needed. The topic is discussed and in many, many countries, especially after what's happened to the uh, President of the United States and his account, social media um, accounts. This is a very controversial matter, but actually when we started working on this draft law, uh, we hadn't anticipated such dramatic events unfolding, and we hadn't anticipated that the debate about how much social media can interfere in their users' accounts, uh, that it would become so emotional, so high-strung, and even involving uh, the person of the president of the United of the president of the United States. But we've been always looking at it from the point of view of Polish citizens. When we started working on this law, and to this day, we feel that our citizens are very important here, and I believe that this law is in line with what the European Union is working on, uh, and I think Poland can be an inspiration for regulations that will be adopted in the future by the European Union. Thank you, gentlemen, for presenting the draft law.